Today, we're unlocking a training lesson from our Keyword Research Basics for Beginners course that's currently on sale at rapidlevelup.com to our broader audience. Now, this particular lesson is all about how to analyze keywords when you are doing keyword research. So hope you enjoy it. How to analyze keywords. Okay, so now we're kind of going a little bit more deeper in our keyword research. Now, before we look for more keywords, look for more long tail keywords, we first need to understand how to analyze them first. All right. Now, in our previous lesson, we pulled up some keywords everywhere reports. And these reports, they look pretty daunting at first, but it's actually not too bad once you understand what all these number what all these numbers mean. Okay, so let's talk about these metrics, all right? So some common metrics that you will see in Keywords Everywhere and other keyword research tools are, first one is search volume, okay? So search volume, we mentioned this in a previous lesson. This is the average total searches people performed for a keyword per month over the last 12 months, all right? So for example, a search volume of 1,000 means that people have searched for this keyword an average of 1,000 times every month for the last 12 months. All right, so going to our Keywords Everywhere report, you'll see the volume column here. So this is the average search volume, monthly search volume. Okay, so NinjaBullet has uh, 12,100 searches average per month. Okay, now the next common metric is CPC or cost per click. Now this is the average amount that advertisers are paying for a single click in Google Ads, All right? So this one, Ninja Bullet, advertisers are paying about 69 cents per click, all right? And the next uh, common metric is competition. So this shows how competitive ad placement is for a keyword. Okay, so the level of competition from zero to 100 is determined by the number of ad slots filled divided by the total number of ad slots available. So competition is from zero to 100, okay? Low competition has a lower number, higher competition has a higher number, okay? So going back to our report, this is a competition column. So one is 100, so this is the most competitive. All right, and looking at this list of keywords, they are all branded, right, for this URL. So most likely this company is um, bidding for their own brand terms, so the competition is very high. All right, um, let's see, this one is 99. That's still very, very high. This one is 90, a little less, right? Now, another common metric is trend. Now, this is the actual search volume for a keyword for each of the last 12 months. So use to see the trend and seasonality of a keyword, all right? So if you hover over it, this is the trend column. These are the bar graphs. So if you hover over this graph, you could see the search volume for the keyword over the last 12 months. So use this to see seasonality and trends, all right? So you could see this kind of increases, right? So it looks like during the summer months, Ninja Shaker is kind of higher than in the fall and winter months, right? And let's look at this one. This one has, it uh, looks like during the fall winter months, this specific keyword is a little higher than during the summer months. So you could see some seasonality and trends just by hovering over these graphs right here. Now, another one is trending percent. So this indicates if search trends are going up or down, right? So you could very quickly see what's trending and what's not trending, right? Look at this one right here, okay? Now, there are some other columns here too, okay? So more specifically related to, you know, these reports. So estimated traffic is the estimated traffic that this page receives for this keyword, okay? So it's about 3,600 uh, visits. Now SERP position, now SERP stands for Search Engine Results Page. This is the keyword ranking for this, for this URL, all right? So this one is ranking one, this one is ranking two, 
so on and so forth. So um, this page is ranking pretty high for all these keywords, most likely because, again, these are branded keywords. All right. Now, let's move even further. So these common metrics, they're really good to know, right? It's really good to know search volume and things like that. But keep in mind, these metrics are just one part of the story, right? I would say a more important part of the story is tying it to your business and website goals, right? So make sure keywords are relevant. Ask yourself, do they make sense to add to your website, right? So that's why we always start our keyword research with building out our uh, seed keywords list, right? We didn't talk too much about search volume or things like that or cost per click because that's not too important in the seed keyword phase, right? When we build out our seed keywords, we're just putting whatever is relevant to our business, okay? Also, low search volume keywords can be very valuable as well, right? These might be less known or long tail keywords, right? But can be searched by people who are perfect for your business, okay? So even though if you're comparing maybe two uh, keywords and you see one that has low search volume, but it's more relevant, maybe you could still target that lower search volume keyword, right? So keep that in mind, okay? So don't always just look at these metrics and um, decide on keywords just by looking at this because it really depends on your business, right? So let's go back to our report, okay? So a lot of these are branded terms, right? But you could see there's some that are not necessarily uh, branded terms, right? So for example, uh, personal smoothie blender, right? So this one has about a thousand searches per month. The cost per click is $1.31 and the competition is very, very high. So a lot of advertisers are bidding for this, right? But look at this one, professional smoothie blender has about 210 um, searches per month. Um, it's even more expensive, $1.61, right? So advertisers are spending more for professional smoothie blender. So you may be thinking, okay, which one should I really focus on for my website? Personal smoothie blender or professional smoothie blender, right? So it really depends, right? So search volume is much higher for personal smoothie blender. So it may make sense for you to target personal smoothie blender, or it may make sense for you to target professional smoothie blender if you sell professional smoothie blenders for maybe restaurants or kitchens and things like that for um, you know high-end kitchens you may want to target professional smoothie blender over personal smoothie blender right if you don't make personal smoothie blenders even though the search volume is high it doesn't make sense for your business so don't focus on that right so this is how you kind of um, analyze keywords to determine whether or not it's good for you if it's a good idea for you to target, right? Look at this one, professional blender, right? This one has a thousand. So if you manufacture professional blenders, this is excellent, right? So this one is excellent. And then again, another one, professional smoothie blender is also excellent. So if you're comparing these two, maybe it would be best for you to target the professional blender keyword over professional smoothie blender, right? Because the search volume is uh, much higher, but they both have the keyword modifier professional in them, all right? So that's kind of like how you would go about and analyze your um, keywords list right here, all right? So hopefully you thought this lesson was helpful and we will see you in the next one. Okay, so this was one video from our Keyword Research Basics for Beginners course. Now, if you've always wanted to figure out how to do proper keyword research so you can pick the best keywords to grow your website traffic, then this course is for you. This course will teach you everything you need to know to do effective keyword research for your website. Now, if you want to learn more and enroll in this course, just go to rapidlevelup.com. Now, we have a special offer for Keywords Everywhere customers, okay? So, if you subscribe to the Gold or Platinum plan, 
we will actually give you full access to all of the courses. So go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in the next video.